Hello everyone, it's me, Doc Jana, again to read you a story. Oh, oh my goodness. I've been thinking about how strong people are and I've been thinking specifically about black and African American people who are super strong and the things that we have accomplished and the things we've done. And I found this amazing story that I wanted to share with you and it's called The Undefeated. That means this is this is people who are always winning. So yay for people who are always winning. Kwame Alexander and Kadir Nelson created this book that I'm gonna share with you now. The Undefeated. Oh, look at those birds. All right. This is for the unforgettable, the swift and the sweet ones who hurtled history and opened a world of possible. The ones who survived America by any means necessary. Oh, man. And the ones who didn't. This is for the unflappable, the sophisticated ones who box adversity and tackle vision. Adversity is a big word. Adversity is something that challenges you. So they fight with the things that challenge them and they tackle vision. So they move forward. Mm. Who shine their light for the world to see and don't stop until the break of dawn. Pioneers and change makers and inventors and artists. So many people who share their gifts. What are your gifts? What are you good at? What do you love to do? Are you shining your light for the world to see? I bet you are and I bet you will. This is for the unafraid, the audacious ones who carried the red, white, and weary blues. Weary means tired. Whew, they worked hard. They carried the red, the white, and the weary blues on the battlefield to save an imperfect union. Sometimes we have to fight for the things we believe in. And sometimes fighting doesn't mean with your fists. Sometimes fighting is, is doing the right thing and standing up for people, right? And sometimes it's, you can fight with a smile. You can fight with love and hugs. It doesn't always have to be a physical fight. Sometimes it can be by being there in your heart. The righteous ones who sang, we shall not be moved because black lives matter. And look at this. We have people who are black and people who are white all standing together to stand up for what is right. I love that. This is for the unspeakable. This is for the unspeakable. Sometimes really sad things happen that make us sad and it can feel scary. And sometimes we don't know what to do. That's why it's so important that there are people that love us that we can talk to because sometimes it's just even hard to talk about things. This is for the unspeakable. Unspeakable means hard to talk about. Sometimes things go away, sometimes hard things happen, and sometimes we just need a hug. Who do you like to hug? Hmm. I like to hug my daughter. <laughs> my daughter gives me hugs when I'm feeling sad and I don't have words. This is for the unlimited, unstoppable ones, the dreamers and doers who swim across the big sea of our imagination and show us the majestic shores of the promised land. That's Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. He had big dreams. I bet you have dreams. Do you have big dreams, little dreams? Do you tell anyone about your dreams? The Wilma Rudolphs, the Muhammad Ali's, 
the Althea Gibbons, the Jesse Owens, the Jordans, the LeBrons, the Serenas, the Cheryls, the Reese Whitleys, and the Undiscovered. So many champions, so many people who've done amazing things. And I think these are all, yeah, these are all athletic people. These are people who were into doing sports and winning and being amazing and strong and fast. You don't have to be amazing and strong and fast, but it's pretty amazing when you are. Hmm. Do you like to play a sport? This is for the unbelievable. The we real cool ones. This is for the unbending. The black as night is beautiful ones. Oh, these are musicians and singers. Oh, I love to sing. I'm not a very good singer, but I like to sing. These are amazing singers. Do you listen to music? Do you sing? <laughs> this is for the underdogs and the uncertain, the unspoken but no longer untitled. This is for the undefeated. This is for you and you and you and you and you. <laughs> this is for us. Wow. Wow, such a pretty book. Amazing. Huh. It's so, so nice to be able to celebrate, right? It's nice to be able to celebrate when things are good. It's so nice to be able to celebrate when there's something that you're proud of or to celebrate with other people. Like, do you have a friend or maybe a sister or a brother or a sibling who did something really great and you celebrate? Like for a birthday, we celebrate that people were born. But how nice is that to be able to celebrate? And also, it's nice to have people around us that we can share with if we're, if we're sad about something. So there's lots of things in this book and you can ask your, your parents or whoever's taking care of you to tell you some stories about the awesome people in this book. Thank you so much for reading The Undefeated with me. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care.